Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk. And today we're going to talk about my third pair of Planar headphones and my current favorite headphone and that is the Advanced Alpha. The Advanced Alpha uh, came about for me because I wanted to move on from the M1060 and try a higher tier of headphone. The M1060 is a great headphone, but it's an entry level um, planar. And it's a unique sound, but needs to be modded a lot. And so I wanted a headphone that was a plug and play basically you know um, one that didn't need to be modded and so I started doing a little research I had two headphones that I was really uh, looking into I had the Hi-Fi Men Sundara and the Advanced Alpha the Advanced Alpha caught my eye on mass drop and they were there for like a millisecond and then disappeared and um, I didn't get a chance to jump at that um, drop and then you didn't really hear anything about them. They kind of disappeared. So I started doing a little research and read the forums, looked on YouTube, and very few reviews were available. But they really piqued me. And usually when something is unique like that, where there's like a small window that they are in, I want to see into that window. And so... I really liked the Hi Fi Men Sundara. I was really interested in them, but then I had some issues with my HE350's um, quality build, and and um, it kind of made me leery about buying Hi Fi Men. Now I know the Sundara and the HE350 completely different headphones, completely different build qualities. I understand all that, but at that time I kind of was a little scared and didn't want to go down that road. So I took a chance. And I purchased the Advanced Alpha. And they arrived massively quick. I mean, it was rapid, like three days. Ordered them on, and they, they just showed up. Um, came in a massive box. Um, it's a storage box. It's not really a carrying case. If you want a carrying case, you can get one. Um, there's one that I purchased online that is for the Barodynamic um, DT line or custom studio line and it works great so um, it's nice and tall and small and works fits great in there if you want a carrying case for these. These are not portable though but if you want to take them with you on like a trip if you're taking other equipment or you're going to use somebody else's equipment or something um, these work great. They're not overly heavy. They're fairly light for a planar. They're not overly massively huge. Um, they don't take up a ton of space. They don't make it look like you're wearing um, satellite antennas or anything of that weird sort on your head. Um, they don't feel like they're gonna break your neck when they're on your head. The build quality is metal with a little bit of plastic in. They have a black matte finish to them. They have very limited um, branding on them. They do say Advanced Alpha on the ear cup and then they say uh, Designed for Musicians right here. And they have an advanced branding on the head strap itself. When you have them on, they're very comfortable. They don't press against my glasses. The ear cups go all the way around my ear. I don't have anything touching my ears. Um, don't have any comfort issues at all. Clamping force is great. Even though some people complain about the clamping force, I do not have an issue with it. Maybe I just have a weird head. Uh, do not have any issues with it pressing on my jaw or anything of the sort. So, uh, very comfortable. Most comfortable headphone I own. And um, very solidly built. Don't feel like they're going to break. The one complaint that I have 
is the cable. It's a little short. It's like 48 inches. Um, not the easiest thing to use at a desk. Also, it's brown, like a mocha coffee color. Don't really uh, understand why you would have that with a black headphone. It terminates into 2.5 millimeter duals and then a 3.5. Um, the cabling is nice. It's a nice braided and seems like it's a very good quality, but it's just a, an odd touch because it's like Advance took one of their IEMs, which they're well known for, took their cable, changed the connector on them, and just threw it in a box. It, they didn't make a new cable for the Advanced Alpha. Again, it's a nice cable. It's just a little short. It does come with a little cable tie, which is a nice fit. Um, it's just kind of a weird cable for this because this is not a portable headphone. It is a a home or, or an office setup headphone. So I don't really understand that cable choice. You can use pretty much any head, um, any cable that is made for the Hi-Fi Men HE series. Uh, they will fit. Uh, you do have to be a little careful though. The the connectors seem to be a little picky. Um, I've had some issues with a couple of the ones that I have that they don't quite fit properly. So like you have to pull the cable out just a little bit from where the connector goes to get to quite the the fit. You might have to twist the connector a little bit to get you now jiggle the handle so to speak um, to get the right sound once it's in place you don't have an issue it's just kind of tweaking it uh, i did reach out to advanced about that asked if they had another cable or if they have another one in the works they said currently at this time they do not have one and i asked them about the um having to switch the um jiggle the the cable a little bit and they said that was within their their manufacturing specs so um i do think that they would honor their warranty of three year warranty if anything happens so i'm not too worried about it it's just kind of one of the little quirks that you have to deal with at least i have i don't know anybody else that owns these that's had that issue um but it's just something i have to point out because it's something i endured also, another thing that was a problem, it does come with two sets of pads. It comes with a hybrid pad, which I have, which is removable. Very easy to take on and off. It has these little hooks on the pad. And you just line it up. They're color-coded red for right, blue for left. And you just find the tab hook with the uh, color on it. And you find it in, the, in your ear pad. And you just line it up with the holes and you just quick click it in place very easy to do um, but it does make them so that they're not really interchangeable with uh, third-party pads I did have a problem with the full leather deep pad um, they started coming apart from the ring and the rings actually came detached from it so I reached out to to advance and they're supposed to be sending me a new uh, set of pads once the next batch of headphones is, is made so um, they will honor their warranties on them but just be careful if you do remove them a lot they will tend to fall apart a little bit um, they're very comfortable very soft and plush I actually like the hybrid pad a little bit better it's not quite as deep but to me it has a better feel plus it uh, balanced out the sound a little bit better the deeper pad uh, even though it added a little bit more sound stage to it seemed to <coughs> excuse me hi kitty seemed to um add a little more thump to the bass but it also added a little bit of sparkle and and um, a little more twinge i guess you could say to the treble which we'll get to here in a moment uh, these are very hard to drive even though they are 34 ohms, uh, they are a 90 dB in, in uh, sound pressure level. So they do take a, quite a bit to, to drive them. Uh, so I highly recommend having a dedicated amp for these. Um, so Just be prepared that if you do get these, 
if you're planning on just driving them off your phone or a, a digital audio player that um, they won't sound alive. They may sound a little trebly and peaky um, when not powered properly. So um, have a dedicated amp for these. A pretty powerful amp. Amp wise that I've used, I use a topping stack, uh, which is a topping D30 DAC and an A30 amp. That's plenty of power to push these. And I find that it is very clinical and clean DAC and the amp, and it makes these sound um, very nice. They tend to be a little on the cleaner, uh, analytical, almost a drier, boring sound. And then my other DAC and amp setup that I have is a DAC, which is a Music Hall DAC 15.2 and a, a APPJ PA 1502A tube amp. And I find that that um, combination is a little more pleasing to my ears. Adds a little bit of more colorization to the sound um, than the topping stack. Not that the topping stack is bad, but it's just that the, the music hall just has a little bit of a warmth to it and uh, makes it sound a little more full bodied to me. And I just enjoy that sound a little bit better. Both are great setups, um, but it's just different sound, different preference. It's whichever makes your your ears, whichever you prefer. I'm curious to find out. So how do they sound? Um, bass is very accurate, very smooth, they're very balanced. Uh, in the bass, it's not overly impactful or um, thumping, but it does extend well and it has solid texture and it doesn't bleed into the mids. The bass is very pleasing, but if you're a bass head and you love to get that rumble and that, that real thump, these headphones really aren't for you. Um, this is a very balanced sounding bass, very well extended and smooth. The mids are forward and intimate. They're above the bass, but slightly behind the treble. And um, they have excellent timbre, very good clarity, a natural, clear, and balanced sound. They have a really nice tone to them, a lot of body, and a lot of um, richness to them. And the, the mids are very very smooth um, the treble that's gonna be the love or hate with these uh, they have very impressive extension they can get up there real high with the best of them and they have real good detail to them they're very airy they have a good crispness to them uh, if they're not properly driven if you're driving them driving them off of a portable device or a, a poor amp not a very powerful amp they will sound um, harsh uh, they could sound, sound bright but I find that the better the amp and the better the source they scale really well and sound better so depending on what you're pushing them with you will get a different tone out of them um, with all that said they do have a little bit of imbalance with the treble every now and then you'll get a, a surprise note or two here or there that can be a little squeaky a uh, little sound out of place um, but it, it's very few and far between for the most part it's a very nicely um, well attacking aggressive treble um, they're not harsh and sibilant they're just crisp and airy uh, very well detailed soundstage and imaging soundstage is not massive it's not super huge and it has average width to it but it has good layering and it has a natural sound. It doesn't have any artificial artifacts in it. it doesn't add any weird um, tones to it. it. Doesn't sound like you're in a cave. It doesn't sound so far out there that you aren't really getting the depth in it. Uh, imaging is very amazing. It has a great separation. Um, it has very good details within the sound stage. Um, every now and then on the lower frequencies things can sound a little um, lacking in detail they're not muddy or distorted they just don't 
sound as clear as they should and that's only on songs that are like super mega deep bass um, so it's kind of a rare thing but every now and then they can sound a little discombobulated disc however you say that word discombobulated in the bottom end but it's rare um, I find that with the better amping though that kind of clears out also kind of like the highs so on the topping stack the bass is actually more clear and detailed whereas on the music hall because it's a little bit warmer of a sound every now and then you can get that uh, lack of detail comparing comparing these to my m1060s the m1060s are a warmer darker sound uh, they have more bass impact but they don't have the extension in the highs or the detail and clarity that the alphas do uh, the sound stage is better on the M1060, but their layering and detailing and imaging is not as good as it is on the, on the Alpha. If you want to compare treble, if you're a little worried about the treble on these, um, if you've heard the RHA CL750s and you think the CL750 is a bright headphone, the Advanced Alpha is that way. They're very clear and bright. Um, they can sound bright sounding and so if you think the CL750 is bright or too bright for you you won't like the Advanced Alpha very much. Overall the Advanced Alpha met all my expectations and has gone well beyond. You know I wanted to step up from a $300 sub $300 headphone into M1060 and I did that. Build quality, sound quality, comfort everything is beyond and and uh, clearly met my expectations um, shouldn't have any issues with build quality sounds like they're going to take care of their warranty issues very well and quickly and um, so yeah I'm very I, I, I highly recommend the advanced alpha for a love-hate product and a product that didn't, hasn't gotten a whole lot of publicity, these are amazing. I took a chance on them, and I'm glad I did. I like the M1060, but I love the Advanced Alpha. Give the Advanced Alpha a listen, and who knows? They might become your new favorite, like they are my new favorite. These are my daily driver. I can't find a genre of music that doesn't play well on these. I love to game in them. And I love to just sit and relax and listen to music. These are my new favorite playing our headphone. The Advanced Alpha. This is Dave with DBS Tech Talk. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video.